Hello, reformers, and welcome back to 16th century. Now, when we left off, we had just received our first wages from the enterprises that we had previously built, and we've now amassed a pretty big army. I don't have 162, mind you, but yeah, we're currently embroiled in a bit of a war against the Kingdom of France, and there is one vassal against two of us. I am helping Viscount Fayon at the moment, and hopefully we're going to be able to assist him because he has, I think, 63 units, and we have 99, and basically he's not doing very well, suffice it to say. I think he was going to end up losing this battle, so yeah, we are saving his skin at the moment, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll get a little bit of an experience boost as a result because we might be able to get a couple of kills we might be able to get our forces upgraded i mean how much cavalry do i have i have three cavalry oh yes a grand total of three it's not very nice is it but oh well can't really do much about it now what, what do we have to deal with here the enemies have 55 okay well, well we, we, we do outnumber them but only by a slight margin i suppose i mean they do have a lot of cavalry i mean just look 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 at that they have a lot of cavalry. We do know that the well, they do. They, well, we do know that they have light and heavy cavalry and everything. So, me having a lot of bowmen is <laughs> certainly not a good plan, is it? No, not a good plan at all. Okay, I'm going to tell my people to charge in now because I want to keep them away from my cavalry as much as possible. And we do have some pikemen and things like that. So hopefully the pikemen are going to come in handy and hopefully deal enough damage to win the situation by themselves. I don't really want to lose too many. Oh, yes. Wow, that was that was feeble, wasn't it? But yes, I don't really want to lose too many units fighting a minor French vassal. So it would be kind of nice if we could remove them from the battlefield. Yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice. We're dealing some, some damage. I am being killed by three of them, however. Not exactly nice. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Yes. That's what we like. Okay, so now this guy doesn't have a shield, so I should be able to take advantage of this. Yes. <laughs> Very nicely, in actual fact. Yeah, that was that's pretty cool, really. It really does give you the sense that situational awareness and, and being able to sort of maneuver around, your mobility does make a big difference in this mod when you're fighting one-on-one -on -one at least and if you knock them down or if you i don't even know do we have shield bash no shield bash is not available as far as i'm aware maybe i can enable it or something like that but anyway the point is is that if you were to shield bash or something and then maneuver around to the back of the opponent whoever that may be then you can get extra bonus damage by attacking from the rear so that's that's pretty cool now we have made it so that this martial vassal is liking us just that little bit more very happy about that because we need as many, shall we say, marshals on our side as we can get. Unfortunately, the French vessel escaped, so we can't gain any more honor or anything like that. But, well, it's not a big deal, I suppose. Otherwise, there you go. We're pretty good. We're doing pretty well. Well, not pretty well because, as you can see, we were just running along, minding our own business, waging war in France. And what has happened? Well, basically everyone from Paris came out and decided that they wanted to murder us. So, yes, they are obviously doing that right over there. They have about what? How many? 385. I personally do not want to get embroiled in this in this fight. If at all possible. How many do they have now? Oh, they split exactly. Wow, that's, that's very, very well done of them. I was actually thinking I might try and assist if... One of the parties was smaller than the others. Ooh, I might... Uh, yeah, come, come on. Come over here. Come over here, King Francois. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we are going to be fighting the King of France. I don't think this is going to work too well. I gotta be honest. I think that we're probably going to die. But... We gave it our best shot, I suppose. So we have a bunch of archers. I guess what I need to do is make the most of them. So I'm going to hope that he decides not to charge at us immediately, even though that seems to be what he is doing. Oh my. Oh, this is not good at all. Okay. Do you have lancers? Yes, they do. This is not good. Well, this might be good because they're actually running into us and dying almost immediately. That's pretty nice. 
that is pretty nice, but then we have to be very, very careful about the fact that they are having even more of them coming in here. Oh my, okay, well, I was hopeful that I'd be able to do a little bit of a thrusting attack. Whoa, that's him, isn't it? That is the king himself. He has a very, very ornate set of armor on, so we need to be a bit careful of that because we're probably not going to be able to deal any damage to him. He's looking to be almost indestructible. Now, actually, that was just a France knight. Right, oh, okay, well... Don't need to worry about that. Oh, here, there he is. There he is. Okay, hello there. <laughs> I'm doing zero damage. Yes. Is that him? I don't know. It, no, it's actually not. It's their heavy infantry forces. I'm very surprised. Okay. Well. Well, kind of me surprised, I guess. But any, yeah, anyway. We are, I think, probably going to be victorious now. I didn't know whether we would be able to do it beforehand, but I think now we have a much, much better chance of victory because the opponent would be, I think, probably unable to do a lot of damage to us because they have crossbowmen. Yes, I know crossbowmen, they can be very damaging, but for the most part, you've got to think about the fact that our archers are very, very fast. They can fire extremely quickly, and that is the main reason why I think we're probably going to be okay. Could you help me out here, archer? Yes, thank you very much. Ugh, it was about time, wasn't it? It's really about time because we had such a... Oh, that was that was quite a... Quite an annoying enemy to take care of, but obviously they have that really, really strong armor on. And it's very difficult to deal with those guys, especially considering I have a very bad and kind of feeble weapon. I mean, my, my weapon is okay, but, you know, my power strike is not even that good either. But, you know, if they have armor on that gives them how much? I don't know, 70 or something body armor? It's going to make a huge difference to their survivability. Anyway, there you go. We lost, ooh, six of our English knights. That's very bad. That is very bad. However, we do get to take the king prisoner, and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing because he is going to give us an amazing ransom. The ransom is going to be so lucrative that I think we'll probably just be you know, skipping all the way to the bank, basically. So hopefully that's going to be the case. And that might give us the opportunity to purchase another Weavery and Dye Works, which would be very advantageous because at the moment we're getting a, you know, minor profit. You know, the, the profit is not exactly great, but it is decent. And I'd like to get a little bit more than that. So let's see, what else am I going to go for here? Am I going to go for more footmen? I, I guess I'll go for some more footmen here. I mean, I think we have enough archers. I mean, we have 35 of those guys. So I think we're fine with that. Going to go for some heavy pikemen. I'm going to concentrate mostly on infantry and less on cavalry at the moment. Because if we have a really, really decent infantry force, no cavalry can stop us. So hopefully that's going to be the case. Ooh, I need to run. I need to run away from these guys, thank you very much. Oh no! Where did he come from? I don't know where he came from. How many does he have? He has 103. Okay, we might be able to do this. We were ambushed. Where did he come from? Did he come from that nearby little castle or whatever? I didn't even know that was a castle. I thought it was a village. <laughs> ah, yes. What an insult. What an insult to our opponent here. Yes, I thought your castle was a village. Uh, yes, exactly. Oh, well. Anyway, let's see if we can do this. I am a bit worried, suffice it to say. I personally feel like we are going to have some problems here, but, I mean, who knows? Who knows? It depends. If they have a bunch of knights, then we might have some problems. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really seen the majority of their army. Oh, they have a lot of light cavalry. Okay, well, we have quite a few polearm users, and these polearm users are certainly going to come in handy. They are going to be very, very potent against those cavalry units. So I'm going to try and get them in a decent enough position for them to hopefully help us win this. Oh, I'm very worried. Oh, I am. I am actually very worried. They are... Oh, no, this is not good. Okay, okay, crossbow. To the rescue. Yes, I got a level. <laughs> okay, that was not really meant. I did not really mean to do that, but thank you very much for the level anyway. That's not too bad. Oh, I absolutely got murdered. Am I dead? Not yet, but, but soon. Not yet, but soon. Yes, very, very soon in actual fact. Okay, I'm going to need to retreat. Am I not going to need to retreat? I'm going to need to retreat, right? Have I? Do I? I'm um, not sure. Yes, I think so. 
I think I do need to retreat, yes. Okay, so let's retreat, see if I can escape, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so yeah, this proves to me that I should not be too close to these guys in... Oh, what? They were able to get... Me. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm going to pull... Uh, pull some, I'm going to leave some people behind. Only nine soldiers. I, I think that's fine to leave behind and maybe I'll be able to escape now. Oh, he seems absolutely happy with that. Yeah, you you take that, you sadistic Marquis Tredian person. Uh, yes, well, I suppose he does have that in his personality traits, so he is going to be a bit, a bit more aggressive, I suppose. But anyway, we're going to go into London and try and recoup our losses. Wow, I can't, I really can't believe that he was doing that. I mean, that was, that was crazy. Just coming out of there, out of nowhere and being like, surprise. Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, we do have some rather nice armor here and a pretty nice helm. So I'm thinking we might give that to Juan here. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, you definitely need some, some extra armor here. Thank you very much. And wh what about this helm? Is this helm better than what you have? No, it isn't. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine then. I'm not going to give him a horse either. He doesn't need one. And yeah, we've actually leveled up. Yeah, we did level up. So we managed to escape by the skin of our teeth, basically. We were pretty close to having a defeat there, which would have been pretty bad. All right, so I think we should probably choose something rather nice now. So I think I'm going to go for some more agility. I know I might be going a little bit too hard on the agility at the moment, but personally, I feel like that is necessary. I think it's necessary because we are eventually going to need those additional weapon points from the Weapon Master and I think getting that is good. So we're going to start leveling our one-handed weapon proficiency a little bit now because at the moment our crossbow is, I think, pretty decent. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, it can use, it can always use more accuracy and always use more damage and things like that. But at the moment, I think we're okay. So we're just going to restore ourselves. I'm going to go into the garrison here. Can I go into the garrison here yet? No, I can't go into the garrison here yet. There is a tournament here, however, so maybe I would like to join that. But as is the case, I'm going to try and prevent myself from... Yeah, yeah, as you can see, we literally have no wound treatment whatsoever because we haven't been able to find a companion that is capable of doing that for us just yet. So do we have prisoners? I do have some prisoners. Oh, nice. 946. That's a pretty decent amount. Who's that over there? Oh, that's another sporting lady. Okay, I'm going to talk to the sporting lady and have a look. Oh, I lost some... I lost 3,000. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I... <laughs> between episodes, I did actually read a little bit more of the feature list. And apparently, if you go with one of these ladies, you can have either extremely good luck like we did at the very beginning of the series, or you can have extremely bad luck, which is what I just had now. So I have 3,600 remaining, which is, I suppose, okay. Oh, by the way, I don't even know. Oh no, did I rest enough? Nope, didn't rest enough. Did not rest enough. I'm gonna die again immediately, aren't I? I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Okay, well, if I die, then... Yeah, there we go. We actually got killed by a companion. That's hilarious. Anyway, yeah, that serves me right. That really serves me right for basically just ignoring the fact that I needed to restore myself any further. The thing is, I thought to myself, yeah, I've rested for a day now, or I've rested for a couple of hours now. That should be enough. But no, no, it certainly wasn't enough. I don't really care that much about the tournament, so it's not really a big deal. But, yeah... It would have been nice if we could maybe win that. But yes, anyway, I need some more warriors anyway. So we're just going to get a couple more here. And we're going to need maybe to raid a village or something like that. I don't really want to raid a village because that's going to mean that our honor will go down. But maybe if we need the the money, then that might be the way to go. But obviously, we do have a bunch of weavery and dye works up and running already and there they come there you go we're making almost 2000 per week and in general that's actually a really really nice amount but i'd like more <laughs> i would like more because then i would be able to do even more of what i like which is of course to outfit our companions in some good gear and all that sort of thing aha 
Uh, 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 I thought some, some French vassals might be deciding to come across here and say hello. And maybe, you know, maybe try and retaliate a little bit. Because, well, while the English have been unable to basically do anything over there, with the exception of getting absolutely massacred once or twice... Yeah, that's that's basically it. Anyway, I'm going to get some more footmen here. I personally feel like we need many more pikemen and infantry and things like that. And how much money do I have now? 3,900. Okay, I think I have enough for another round of recruits. So I'm going to get a get a couple more there. Oh we're, oh, we're participating in the siege. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Yes, that is what we like. Okay, I'm going to try and hunt down the Marshal of Duke Logan. Yes. Yes, hopefully we'll be able to take him out. I don't know what, what about the naval battles in this mod, so I don't know whether I really wanted to do anything. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That just shows his personality to a T right there. Martial personalities are fantastic because I let him go, and now he said, Oh, you let me go. You're the most honorable person in the world, etc., etc. And he gave me five relation for that which is fantastic, because now he's going to lose one relation, obviously, because we are going to be fighting him. So let's see if we can take this guy, at least have the opportunity to take this guy prisoner, and then we're probably going to go back and maybe try and help in Edinburgh's siege. I think that might be kind of nice. Of course, if we're unable to do that, then well, so be it, but it would be kind of nice to eliminate... Ow! I got hit by a laser beam. Did you see that? <laughs> got hit by an orange laser beam. Obviously, it's a bullet. I did get hit by a bullet right there. I'm surprised I'm still alive, to be honest. But, oh well. That's, you know, that's, shall we say, lightly powered armaments for you. But anyway, we are also, hopefully, going to eliminate the Kingdom of Scotland. Now, the main reason why I'm hoping for that is not because I have any kind of, you know, what is it now? Any kind of ill feeling towards the Kingdom of Scotland at all because they haven't really done much to us but the fact is that I just want my weavery and dye works to actually do something in the town. Wow look at our archers though. Our archers are absolutely murdering them. Absolutely murdering them. I am very very surprised that they are doing such a good job. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Wow. That is really, really nice. Anyway, we are, I think, absolutely fine here. Absolutely fine. Uh, there's nothing else I can say about this particular fight because we have been able to absolutely stomp this guy. I'm very surprised. I think it's probably just because we had an absolutely amazing, as you can see, an absolutely amazing height advantage right there. I mean, look at all of our archers just in a really, really nice sort of curvature around. You know, so it goes, uh, it starts at the lower sort of portion, then goes up, and it's it's really, really nice because every single archer has every single kind of line of sight on the opponent, and that's really cool. Now, the one problem, of course, that we are going to face as time goes on in these kinds of battles is if we are not going to have any cavalry whatsoever, I think we're probably going to have some cavalry just to make sure that we have a little bit of extra mobility, but if we don't have any, then we're going to have these moments happen more and more often where the enemy is going to run away and is going to basically elongate the fight unnecessarily. So obviously that is a bit of a problem, but at the moment I don't think we really need to worry about it as we head back to Edinburgh and we are of course going to get some more footmen here. I mean just look at how many we have. We have 43 footmen, 35 longbowmen, and we're doing okay in terms of our wages. Our wages are fine. But I would love the Kingdom of France to ask for their king back, because I can assume that they're probably going to be giving us a huge payday as a result. And I would very much appreciate that, to be honest. I mean, I would very, very much appreciate that. At the moment, I am a bit low on funds. You know, I'm not, I'm not actually doing badly. I'm not going to be in debt anytime soon. But it would be really nice if we could get a little bit of a cash injection. I think that would be pretty cool. Anyway. Let's see what happens here. I don't actually know what's happening here right now. Yes, deal with... No, I didn't actually fail. That's the thing. I didn't actually... I did fail to report to, to Duke Lick. I did did fail to do that. But I did not fail to deal with the looters. There were just no other looters or anywhere that I could find them. So that's the main reason why that's happening. But where is Duke Lick? Is he actually here? Yes, there he is. Okay, well, my bad. My bad, Mr. Lick. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so is, are they are they actually going to go in anytime soon? 
it's probably going to take them a long time to go in. Anyway, I think I'll probably end this episode off here. Next time, we're probably going to go into Edinburgh, see what the castle layout is like, because it's technically a town. It's a big, big town. So it's going to be pretty fun to find out. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.